Internet, Wagwan, it's Kai. I've been playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Pretty good game. But I have some issues. Some of them are related to graphical artifacting, as you can see here. And also the game freezing and or crashing. But here's some solutions to those problems. First things first. The default wine prefix setup for Dragon's Dogma 2 will have you using Windows 10 on Linux. You might want to switch that to Windows 11. In doing so, you'll probably get rid of these artifacting glitches. At least that's what happened for me. I'm on a Debian 12 system and I have a NVIDIA 3080 Ti GPU in this machine. Doing this resolved that issue. You can do this by installing WineConfig or ProtonTrix. I'm going to use ProtonTrix for this demonstration. First thing you want to do if you're on a Debian system is install pipx. You can do this with sudo apt install pipx. After that's installed, you can then use pipx to install ProtonTrix. The command for that is pipx install ProtonTrix. Once that's complete, you can then run ProtonTrix's GUI by typing ProtonTrix space dash dash GUI. And then that'll bring you into ProtonTrix. Select Dragon's Dogma 2. And then we go from there. Once it's up and running, what you're going to do now is select the default wine prefix. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to run wine config. Now again, you do not need to do it this way. You can also just run wine config on the command line. I just use proton tricks because it tends to be the easiest thing for most people. And then once you're on the screen under app, the applications tab, you're just going to select this windows version. When you install dragon's dogma two, by default, it's on windows 10 by setting it to windows 11, hitting apply and clicking. Okay. I have been good to go since like legitimately, this is what resolved all the texture issues. If you're still having problems with graphical artifacting, the other thing you might want to do is disable DLSS and then remove these three files from the in-game folder. Here's how you can do that. You want to right click on Dragon's Dogma 2, go to properties, and then head over to installed files. And then you want to hit browse. And then from browse in this directory here, let me close this so you guys can see it a bit better. In this directory here, there are three files that you want to get rid of. And I will show you the three of them in a sec. So let me jump out a bit. I put them in their own folder. So under, I made this folder called DD2 crap. You don't need, <laughs> you can call it whatever you want, but the three files are nvngx underscore dlssg dot dll. And then the next one is sl dot dlss underscore g dot dll. And the final one is shader dot two cat shader dot cache two. So these three files, what I did was I went into dragon's dogma two found those three and then just cut them and then put them in a folder outside of that folder. I'll put them in their own directory outside of the game's main directory. As for the crashing now, the main one that I think actually solved the problems on this NVIDIA machine was actually just going into the properties of Dragon's Dogma 2 and then adding these launch options. So proton underscore hide underscore nvidia underscore gpu equals one and then the command prompt after there then you just close that out and then launch the game and that about covers it so hopefully this all works for you give it a shot your mileage may vary this worked out for me i've been able to play for about a solid two hours straight without any crashes and typically the game crashes within five to 15 minutes for me i think the longest i've ever gotten it to run prior to making all these changes was maybe 45 minutes. So give it a shot, see how it goes for you. I've also heard that for folks with an AMD system, you can switch from using RADV over to, I believe it's AMD VK, and that should also stop crashing over there. I haven't tried that yet. I have a Chimera OS machine that has an AMD GPU in it, but I haven't been able to figure out a way to disable RADV and switch over to AMD VK. So if anyone knows about that, drop a comment below and let me know. That'd be great for Chimera OS specifically. <laughs> um, and that's it. So with all that being said, this has been Kai. And remember, no matter what destroyer you use out of many, one Linux, give thanks.
Peace.